Welcome everyone, I'm Jordan Sharp. Now that the NFL draft is finally complete, we're heading into OTAs across the NFL, and teams are starting to shape up and look like they are going to look here once the 2014 season and roster cuts finally uh, get down to the 53-man rosters. But here at SBR Forum, we've been taking a look at all 32 teams and their updated future odds. And uh, it's time to take a look at the uh, AFC champion from last season, the Denver Broncos, who of course fell short of the ultimate goal once again with Peyton Manning, but are reloaded and uh, stacking up once again to try to get Peyton Manning a Super Bowl here in this closing window and right now they come in at just uh, under the Seattle Seahawks at plus 500 to win the Super Bowl this season uh, from LVH Sportsbook in Las Vegas. Obviously they're going for it all in the final couple years of Manning's career. They went out and added Aqib Tlaib, uh, picked up DeMarcus Ware after he was cut by the uh, Dallas Cowboys. They got uh, Emmanuel Sanders as well to replace Eric Decker, and they picked up TJ Ward, although he does have a couple of uh, legal problems pending right now. But they did lose a couple of guys, Wesley Woodyard, Sean Phillips, and Eric Decker. But I think, like they said, the additions they made strongly, uh, um, really strongly uh, replaced those guys as well as they could. So I think the Broncos are on the right track once again to get back to the AFC and, uh, championship game. And I think in a, in a year that the conference is probably going to be down just a little bit, they have a very good chance of getting back there. But for the AFC, they're priced in at plus 175. And although I think their Super Bowl price of 5-1, to one, pretty adequate. Wouldn't mind uh, anyone uh, or wouldn't, uh, wouldn't tell anyone not to bet on them to win the Super Bowl this season. But their AFC price at plus 175, I think is just a little bit overvaluing them because this would reflect that they are the really the surefire favorite to win the AFC, and the uh, New England Patriots are going to be a very good football team this season. Don't really, um, I don't really think the Broncos are going to be able to waltz uh, right back to the AFC title game. But even if they do, the Patriots are going to be a tough team to beat. And a plus 175 in a, uh, a game like the NFL, where the injuries and stuff really can dismantle a future odds bet just like that, I'm not really sure plus 175 has value at all. But uh, for their uh, division. In the AFC West, the Broncos coming in at minus 400. A lot of chalk, but with the AFC West should be down a lot this season, uh, although they did have three playoff teams a season ago. Definitely don't think the Chiefs are going to be uh, overachieving like they did last year. They're probably going to be knocked down a little bit after losing a lot of members of that defense. And uh, the Chargers still probably only around a 9-10 to 10 win football team, and the Broncos look to be at least an 11-12 or 12 to win football team this season. But um, I'm not really into chalk that much with future odds, but I do think that uh, they could hold some value even at minus 400 because there's really, I don't think, anyone that's going to usurp the Broncos and Peyton Manning from this division. So that'll do it for me this time. Make sure you check out all my other 31 NFL, super, uh, NFL future odds updates for the other teams in the NFL. But until then, I'm Jordan Sharp, and this has been another edition of the Sharp Pick.